Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. Students, we are right now learning about the design aspects of crane hook. In the last session, we have seen a couple of formulae and the strategy to go about the design of crane hooks. In today's session, we are going to look at the first numerical, how to design a crane hook. So let's begin. Students, the numerical is there on the screen. Let's read it out and try to understand the numerical. It says that determine load carrying capacity of the crane hook. Its material property, the yield stress is given, factor of safety is mentioned and the inside radius is also mentioned. We are supposed to find out the P that is nothing but load carrying capacity of the crane hook. The schematic which is provided for this is So this is what the numerical is and this is how the crane hook is given. The cross section for this particular case given is a trapezoid with the given dimensions. So let us recall them quickly. The dimension H is 120 here. So with this we need to find out. Let us proceed. So for the given cross section you can always refer to the PhD data book. Using PhD data book you can obtain that for the radius neutral this is the expression which is quite lengthy and that is how it is advisable to refer to the PhD data book and not to mug up this formulae. So let us substitute the values in the given session and let us try to find out the answer. The very first expression Now here one thing to be understand is the outer and the inner radius. We already know this the inner radius is 50 and we know that the outer radius is nothing but the inner radius plus the H component. The inner radius being 50 and H component being 120 the answer becomes 170. So this is the additional thing that we need to understand here. After evaluating this particular expression which is quite simple in the calculator we will get the value of Rn is equal to millimeter. So this is how the first evaluation is done. Let's proceed ahead. The second expression which is R that we need to find out is based on this particular expression. Here Ri is 50. plus 2 times 30 after evaluating this particular expression we get value of r is equal to exactly 100 millimeter thereafter the third component which is the eccentricity comes out to be Therefore, E comes out to be 1 millimeter. Now, this precision is very important because the values are already small, and to that we are doing the design. 
and that's why you are going for the higher precision. Let's move ahead with the next component that is nothing but HI that stands between these two and therefore HI becomes The last component that is very crucial is the area of the cross section. We know that it is a trapezoid and hence a very simple formula. The answer that is obtained is 7200 millimeter square. So with all these components, let us proceed to find out the load carrying capacity. The next thing that we are associated with is the bending moment. We know that bending moment here will be equal to the force into the radius. Radius is nothing but this mean radius and the value of force P is unknown. The mean radius that we have obtained is 100. And hence bending moment in this case becomes 100 times the P. Newton millimeter. So this is how let us proceed with the bending stress at the inner surface or inner fiber. And that's why it is mentioned or suffixed as I. Bending stress I, inner one. Formula is quite simple in this case. Let's substitute the values. And the last one in a radius which is 50. After evaluation of this particular term we will get the value and the final value in terms of P comes out with certain constant. This is my first expression that I have got. Let's proceed ahead with the additional stress that is the direct stress. The direct stress in our case becomes P divided by area of cross section which is 7200 Newton per millimeter square. Now we know that both the stresses may occur at the same time and that's why we need to consider their superimposition and therefore considering both of them simultaneously we will get the total stress is equal to the direct stress plus the bending stress on the inner fiber. But this total stress in order to be safe should be either equal to or less than the possible stress or the maximum allowable stress. The maximum allowable stress will be the yield limit divided by factor of safety and that is how the expression is obtained. Let's try to combine both of them. The value that is given for us for the safety is somewhere around 380 but the factor of safety mentioned is 3.5. If you look at this particular expression the only unknown that we have is the force P. So taking that particular term common we can evaluate the rest of the things and after the evaluation we get the value of P comes out to be Newton. So that is how the value is obtained. So this is what the load carrying capacity of the given crane hook with the given cross section and the given material properties. So it comes out to be 94.83 kilonewton which is the load carrying capacity of the given crane hook. In the next session we are going to solve a similar problem where the cross section will be different but the approach will be same for the crane hook kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.